Hi friends. Hi friends. We are going to start our new series of lectures on character animation. Character animation has three parts. First part is character setup. Second part is character rigging. And the third part of character animation lessons is animation itself. When we model a character in some 3D software like Maya and we want to animate that character in the long run, we make possible the bends and the moves in our character's parts, body parts. We want to animate our character like a walking character. We need muscles, bones, joints for making a walk of our character, for animating the arms and the legs and the wings of our characters. And as you know, that characters are endless, unlimited, from a microorganism to a very huge character like an elephant we can all we can make all of the characters and there is no limit of their sizes you can create a monster a horror character you can make a cartoonic character as huge as you can so what is the character setup it depends upon the character geometry what is our character indeed suppose we have an animal character we let's say a cam a camel so the very first thing which we need to do is the skeleton of our character. Our camel is our character in this case. And we can move each and every part of its body. Our character is a living organism and we need to animate our character in the long run for some purposes. That's why we need a complete skeleton, a rigged skeleton. As I said, that character animation has three parts, character setup, character rigging, and character animation itself. We can see a character by rotating its joints, we are going to make an animation on our character, and we have prepared a skeleton for our character, a rigged skeleton. And after that we are able to move our character and make an animation on it. As well as we do the same things for humans Actually, you know that an organism, a living organism, has its muscles and its moving parts. So, if we are going to model and animate a living organism, we are bounded to add some joints and uh, some bones into it because we are going to make an animation on that. It's not a photograph. We are going to make it, make it a real character and we rig it according to our needs. Then our character moves and walks and do whatsoever we want to do. But as I said that characters rigging is a second part of character animation lesson series. So in first part what we are going to do is character setup. 
and we need a physique a body of our 3d character so before we import a body or character or we open a file containing a 3d object an organic object we need to understand